I've been working for over 10 years in the interactive industry in, um, in a studio in Bern, in Switzerland. And now, just recently, I quit my job uh, to become independent. And uh, my first goal of being independent was to create an indie game from A to Z. So, not only managing a team or creating um, or being a part of the production, uh, but also be doing the concept design and the programming. And uh, as you can imagine, the programming part to learn was quite hard, not coming from the area. So, the name of this goal is called Mono Crystals. It's a tablet puzzle game, and uh, it's by Inclusio, and that's the name I'm going for in the, as, a, as an indie developer. And this is uh, how the screen looks. It's quite an accessible game mechanic. Um, so it's uh, uh, you have to flip mana into crystals, and as soon as you do that, the crystals get activated, and if you have activated all the crystals in a level, um, you have completed and can progress in the game. And um, my goals are to have a visual appealing and engaging and immersive experience, um, and as mentioned, this accessible game mechanic. But with that, um, it also has to be challenging, and the challenging comes with a twist. So we have this uh, color matching um, mechanic in there, and the most important part is that the crystals have different powers, so I'll show you a quick um, state uh, of, the, of the development. So you can see the first level where you flip it, flip the mana into the crystals. And as soon as you progress in the game, you can use the crystals which have different powers to reach areas of the level which you could not access before. And as the game progresses, new crystals come into play. So here we have a red crystal, and as soon as you activate that one, you invert the gravity. So you have to use the different powers to, to actually complete and activate all the crystals. And here is the, the blue diamond, which actually is as acting as a chameleon, so you can take colors and then you can use them again. And the release is planned in early Q4, so still this year, and uh, I'm targeting the iPad, um, so I'm going for the tablet casual gamers. And I'm looking for reviewers, previewers, bloggers, and also publishers to uh, share and discuss the game as it is in the moment. So thank you very much for listening.